can you guys believe that it is July already? My goodness, like, I can't believe how fast the summer is going by. We have been having some incredibly hot temperatures. I don't know if any of you guys have as well. If you are, I am so sorry, and I hope that everybody is able to stay safe and cool. Uh, last week we spent, I think most of the week, around the 106 kind of give or take mark which is really hot for us this time of year this week's been a little bit more doable hitting around like 99 so not much but that like five degrees six degrees makes a huge difference despite all of that my garden has actually been doing pretty good so I thought I'd give you guys just a little update on um, what the garden looks like and kind of do a little um, garden tour for this month of July in these first two boxes, I have my cucumbers. Um, this box here are my slicing cu cucumbers. I've got market moors in here. And this one is a variety of pickling. I believe they're Boston. These two little plants right here, they actually had a couple big ones that started growing like right off the bat. And I had to pluck them because it was causing um, some strain on these um, runners. Lots of flowers bees seem to be doing a pretty good job so um, pretty happy with these these ones over here are taking off pretty good and um, I'm getting some good trellising the little clips that I grabbed from the dollar store earlier in the season are doing really well as these climb up I just go through and move these further up um, just to help kind of support them so I've got them on pretty much um, every single one of these as well as my squash plants over here. These next two boxes here have, um, I've got butternut squash, two plants in the first half, and then the second half I've got some sugar pie pumpkins. Now I've been kind of getting hit with a little bit of squash bugs on these. Avery and I have been coming in every day and picking squash bugs, but as you can see, um, here is a little pumpkin that has been affected by them, unfortunately. So I've had a little bit of loss there. One way, if you are wondering if you have squash bugs, is that you'll see the little fruit um, start to wilt, change color, and they never get big. Also, another sign that you have squash bugs are leaves like these, where they start to turn brown on the outside, and then um, the see if I can find a little stem. I've been pretty good at trying to clean them up, but um, they will be, oh, here we go. They'll be kind of wilted um, like halfway through. So you can see that it's still green down in here, but it's starting to wilt up through here and then the sleep is is dead. I was pretty frustrated last year with um, losing all of my squash to squash bugs. So I decided to just go through this year and use some powdered insecticide. Here's another leaf of that's been affected by a squash bug. So that's, that's a telltale sign to me that they are still in here um, wrecking some havoc. Oh, here's one. Here's two. Okay, so there is a squash bug. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment to squish this guy and clean the other ones off of here. I just like to actually take them with like a little piece of bark and I just squish them dead. There's another one. I absolutely hate the smell of those. They smell like a sour apple. Um, it's not a very good smell. In fact, the other day I was squishing one and one squirted me in the face. So that was not pleasant. <laughs> Another thing I go through and do is just try to flip over some leaves and make sure that there are not any um, eggs in here. So I just kind of run through kind of quickly just to kind of assess if there is or not. These plants right here 
have not been hit so bad with the squash bugs because they have a harder time finding places to hide. Whereas in these ones, they've got little, little nooks and crannies in there to kind of hide. Next up, I have my beefsteak tomatoes. They've been doing pretty good, um, though I don't really have much for blooms on them, which is unfortunate. If I walk back up here to the front of my garden, I've got my little cherry, yellow cherry tomatoes, and they are doing much better. Um, I'm getting some blooms on them, and I actually was able to eat a little teeny cherry the other day. Next up, I have my herb little garden. Um, I haven't really harvested anything off of these for cooking. The basil I've had to prune because with the hot temperatures, um, it is trying to bolt and flower. So I've been trying to be pretty good at pruning those so I don't lose them. And then I'm hoping for a good crop of parsley this year though. It's kind of looking kind of sad. This box I've got my zucchini. Um, they've been doing pretty good though. They've been getting kind of hit with some squash bugs as well. I have harvested four zucchini off of these. In fact, we had some for dinner tonight and it was pretty darn good. Hopefully they'll produce pretty good this year. You can see some of the remnants of having squash bugs in here. This little zucchini plant has been hit pretty hard. I'm trying to save it. It's tr it's trying. It, it wants to. I just accidentally broke that off, but um, it at least has some new growth on here. But you can see that it got it's gotten hit by the squash bugs. Doesn't look pretty. Looks very sad. So hopefully I can save that one. Um, but everything else in here looks pretty good. This box I've got my eggplants and they're definitely um, doing their best at trying to produce some stuff. So hopefully we'll have some. I like to grill these up. Um, these are the little fingerlings so they don't get very big. I do not like big eggplant. This little planter is where I planted all the pumpkins. I've got um, three plants of giant pumpkins and I'm really really hoping that they put something on this year and then these are more of a carving style pumpkin. They're doing pretty good and then this little bunch right here are the little Jack B. Littles um, pumpkins so I'm hoping we get something off of those. The girls really like those. Um, Swiss chard is doing pretty good getting kind of hammered by the earwigs unfortunately. Um, I always battle earwigs with the Swiss chard so um, and I also battle getting out here and eating it before it gets huge but it does really really good in the compost if it gets too big. And my raspberries over here um, I don't know if they've got a little deficiency or whatnot. I know that this coloring is not normal so um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with these, but at least they're growing and hopefully next year we will have some raspberries to harvest. The watermelon in the greenhouse is doing really awesome. I am absolutely floored at how well it does here in the greenhouse. With the temperatures being around 106 the last week or so, the temperature in here was more like 130, um, kind of crazy. I would have thought that most of these would kind of dry and fizzle up, but they actually have been doing really, really awesome. So um, I think I might do this in the future um, going forward. I do currently only have one little watermelon that's growing. Hopefully um, some of the other ones will start. Um, I don't know how much bee activity I've had in here, um, but I do have lots of flowers. So there's plenty of stuff to pollinate and happen in here. So hopefully we'll get some more um, watermelon for the summer. One thing I've decided to do is just go ahead and let this trellis out over the side of the um, planter and it seems to be doing okay so far. We'll see how much this stuff takes over. Um, I might be regretting that later um, because I have three plants in here and as you can see, they are spreading everywhere. So that is um, just a little snapshot of how the garden is doing. Um, I can't wait until I'm able to harvest a lot more. Um, I cannot wait for the cucumbers. I love to have um, cucumber salad with like the dill. Um, my family in Poland actually does one with yogurt. So they scrape the seeds out, um, shred it up, 
let it drain for a few hours and then they mix it with just plain yogurt and it is so good. Um, so I can't wait to have some of that this year. Growing a garden always has its challenges. Every year we face something new. Um, I do try my best to do stuff as organically and holistically as possible, but this year on the squash bugs, I just said enough and decided to use some insecticide stuff. So hopefully that um, helps with that so I can have a good crop of pumpkins and zucchini this year.